see the forest continues. Yes, thank you for your words of wisdom, Sister Petrenko. Well, it is not easy when patients come and go, like Italian prime ministers. Sorry, what was that? You heard me. I need to take your blood. Where are you going to take it from? Well, I could take it from your jugular with my teeth. But your arm with the needle will be fine for now. Any chance of a coffee? The kitchen's over there. We're out of milk. British girls, it's all about the guy and the money, no? Not all of us. I believe you. Have you got a boyfriend? No, but do I look sad? They sent her here because they can't do anything with her, so now we have to deal with the crazy lady. Oh, hello. Hello, this is, um, this is Elliot Hope. I'm, I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. This is AAU again. This is not hard. You have to press a flashing button. I know, I know, but which, which one of these? Hello? Sister Petrenko, uh, luckily for you, Dr. Green doesn't want the incident taken any further. Lucky me, indeed. Hey, um, have you seen my bleeper? What does it look like? A bleeper? You lost it. You know I've lost it, that's why you had to ring me. Mr. Gallen thought you should be here, that's why I rang you. Because I lost my right, bleeping bleeper, have you seen it? That too, that's why he wanted you here. All right, um, what do we know? You're the doctor. Here are the notes. Go team A. Not a high fiver. I'm dying, Egypt. Dying. No, you just throw up, that's all. But you understand why I had to run the test before... You're the doctor, I'm the nurse, I understand. There are boundaries. Dr. Valentine. You think you know everything? That's a big mistake. You don't know everything. You don't see everything. And you're proud. That makes you a bad doctor. Ye what are you doing? Reading with my feet up on the desk. Why? I'm on training for when I have no job. I believe it's called burning bridges. Right, let's get him to Dom before Sasha gets back. Oh, go on. I see. When you say let's, you mean... Free to do it. <laughs> Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. Actually, it's sixteen inches of steel. Enjoy your samosas, asshole. Cross-match blood, please. Let's get them to theatre immediately. Well done. Thanks. Oh, perhaps I'll give you a chocolate at the bottom. Many of our patients are in great pain, so we need them to trust us as quickly as possible. And you do that by being completely professional and as unthreatening as possible. Have you, um, thought about maybe reconsidering your makeup choices? No. He had SVT, so I did cross massage. Oh, what the old... <clears throat> I'm sorry. I never learned. Frida, could you get Mr. Fiveacre's ECG for me, please? Okay, then I'll get it myself. Excellent. Oh, God. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Oli, watch where you're going. Sorry, you okay? Uh, yes. They're both nuts. They deserve each other. You are having trouble with this one, I'm thinking. You mean we're having trouble with this one? Not me. This is my last day. Tomorrow I'm going to join Mr. Williams and the dog. I'm so sorry, Frida. Just another rat leaving the sinking ship. Hey, guys. Can we sort out your transport? Ah, uh, the phone's on the desk. Frida, will you just help Mr. Barty, please? Uh, Georgina Hunt, has she been admitted? You can't read the board. He need glasses. Okay, guys, quick question. The tag's gone. That was Penny. 
It was an emergency. Frida called the company to alert them. No, I didn't. I'm sorry? You told me not to do anything unless you tell me to. You don't want me to get you in trouble. Okay, what does this mean? She has probably committed an offense. Might be an idea to give them a buzz. The police is arriving any second now. Everybody freeze! I think it's fair to say that we didn't get off to the best start. That's me. I don't do good starts, but I am a finisher. I will grow on you. Like moss. Ah, oh, more humor. Dr. Petrenko, welcome to your first day as an F1 doctor. Woo! Just happy to help. It's easy when you're not a freak. Don't worry, I'm a freak. Believe me, every home should have one. Um, let's do that now mm -hmm. and call me if there's any problems. You and that young lady having sex. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Uh, so your five-year-old just, just crashed. I think I just found out why. Dijoxin. I thought you were just robbing her. You're not getting on your nerves, am I? You ask a lot of questions. I know. We have uh, an old proverb in Ukraine. He who licks knives will eventually cut their tongue. Fascinating. Come on. How many times have you needed a helping hand? Never. Oh, wait. Maybe when I do a U-turn in a really tight alley. Oh, so you like prostitutes? No. You think this is funny? <laughs> oh, easy, mate. Nothing to do with me. Oh, sure. Oh, don't take it so seriously. You know what? I've become the guy that people take the mickey out of. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. You know why? Because I messed up a chest strain and I ratted him out to Mrs. Beecham. That's why. No, this is not it. You don't think so? Why, then? Not a good doctor making mistakes. This is why. It doesn't matter whether I agree or not. It's our life. Death, actually. Oh, hello. I thought you'd have an opinion. The sugar control is terrible. Up, down. But mostly up. You know the saying? You can lead a horse to insulin. Oh, no, you don't know the saying. <laughs> Manic is not even in Michael's league. He thinks he is. And that will be his downfall. He's not going to be here for much longer. Longer than you, Nurse Petrenko, trust me. He's not coming. Who? Mr. I'm not just a pretty face, Penny Malik. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Doesn't matter anyway. What? It doesn't matter? You have no chance with Malik. No future. You saying that he's been sacked? He's not been sacked. Why would he be being sad? Well, the other day you said that he was a marked man. Yeah, but he gets away with it. He's a survivor. So then why can't I have a future with him? Uh-huh. Hypothetically speaking, <laughs> because I'm not interested, obviously. Good. Because he bets for the other side. Oh, you think he's gay? No. I don't think. I know. How? I have gay there. Forgive me if I take that with a pinch of salt. I also have friends on day surgery ward. It's common knowledge. Oh. There, there. There's plenty more fish in the sea. An evacuation drill, exactly what we need today. There's an evacuation warden. I need to attend an evacuation briefing. Why? Fire, we're on. A drill isn't gonna save you. Hanson's orders. Of course. How can we live for 30 seconds without him inventing a completely new way of ruining our lives? I hope no one died in this massive disaster. One day there could be an absolute disaster and you will be glad of this. It'll be fine, you think? We've all made mistakes. That's true. Yes, we all make mistakes, but Oli's the one who wrote the book, no? Leo was feeling lonely and unloved. Four band flown t-shirt, two blocked catheters, and phlebotomists cannot take blood because Mrs. Hughes does not like face or something. Plus, there's only one of me where once there used to be three. Okay, okay, book me an echo. My heart is bleeding. Just tell me about the new ones. Okay. Is that nurse back yet? Yeah. Doctor. Oh, look, no offense. I, 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 don't, I, I didn't make the nurse assumption just because just you're a woman, okay? I want you to know that. You, you, are, you are a woman, right? What do you think? Could be a Russian bloke with 
high voice or, you know, a Lithuanian midget. I would quit while you're ahead, if I were you. Thanks for that. Next time I need any help, I'll send up a flare. You were asleep. I was arresting my eyes. All in one. Simple, right? Got it. So now we take it out and I put it back in again. Kidding. <laughs> okay. We had no choice. The form. Especially told her how important it was. You talking to me? Sister Williams. She didn't give you the form because she doesn't think she should do someone else's job as well as her own. Most of that is true. Mr. Spence? Yes. Mr. Spence? Yes. I need to talk to you about cystoscopy. All right, go do it. You need my permission. No, it's just that I want you to supervise me. You running a fever, Petrenko? No. No fever. I'm just a little bit rusty. I'll go find a room, you two. Right, so there's a, a drinks machine in the corridor and a coffee bar downstairs. Why don't you take five? Right, I am done. I will be upstairs. Uh, you just page me when uh, the solar systems go. Is that the cystoscopy? Oh, yeah. And Mr. Spencer is going to um, supervise me. Supervise? Mm. Mr. Spence, can I have a word? Well, that didn't take very long. Didn't I tell you? Where? Oh, he's there by the bus stop. I don't see him. Yeah, you need glasses. I do not need glasses. Oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not running. Trousers too tight? Oh, he's just scared of the beat. Girls, there's no way you beat me. The patient goes to the doctor. Says, doctor. Give me something to make me feel better. Doctor opens the drawer. This is the medicine for insomnia. This is the one for nervous breakdown. And also take this one for depression. Patient takes the bottle and says, thank you, doctor. But um, do you have any other medicine rather than vodka? It's all in the delivery. 